China. And first of all, I, all, I want to do a little introduction about myself. My name is Wan Li, and in Chinese pronunciation, it is Li Wan. And I'm from Zhengzhou, Henan, People's Republic of China. And now I'm an MA student in uh, health communication. I'm in SUNY Albany. And my undergraduate major is clinical medicine, so I worked as a doctor uh, in a hospital for one year and a half. And now I want to be a TV program producer, but I know there's still a long way to go. And uh, this is a map of China, and I can show you, uh, I don't know if there is, uh, Honai, my hometown is just in the center of China. And uh, here's something about Henan. So I made a comparison about Henan province in New York State. First, we can look at the area. Henan province is 167,000 square kilometers. And New York State is 141,205 square kilometers. So it's somehow the same, same area. But population is a little bit different. In Henan, we have 99, 99 million, right? 99,700,000 population by the year of 2008. But in New York State, we can see this a lot of less than Henan. And some people said by the year of 2010, Henan's population will, re will reach 100 million. OK, we can look at the GDP. Uh, in Henan, it's 2,815 US dollar by the year of 2008. And of course, New York is higher. But we know this GDP is trans exchanged from the renminbi. So we have to, uh, it's about a little bit higher in Henan. So the living condition in Henan is OK. It's not that poor. And uh, this is about uh, every province of China has a short name. Henan's short name is Yu, and Yu is a very historical character because this character we can find that in the Argo Bone inscriptions, and just like I mentioned on the bottom. And you can, you can find that there are two parts of Yu, and one is like a person, and the other is like animal. Can you guess what kind of animal is it? Elephant. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Actually, it's the elephant. Because the meaning of you is, I got an elephant. And that is the evidence about uh, we have elephants thousands of years ago. And the weather in Henan is pretty warm. And this is the China subway network. And we can see Henan is just into the center of China. And so if you travel in China, it will be very convenient for you to go to Henan from every direction. And this is the landform of China. We can see uh, Henan is just uh, here. It's, it's just here. So half of our province is mountain, and half of our province is plant. Uh, it's very flat. And there are two main rivers. There are two, two main rivers in China. One is the Yellow River, one is the Long River. We can see Henan is just at uh, the bank of Yellow River. And as far as we know, every river can have, it, uh, can have their own culture, such as Egypt, they have River Nile, and such as Iraq, they have their two river culture. And in China, this is uh, Yellow River culture, and it's generated in Henan. And so I can see Henan's, I can say, Henan's history is the history of China. Because 4,000 years ago, we had Neolithic age. That is Longshan culture, one of the very early culture in Henan. And we can see, we can all imagine, the Neolithic age, we often see is some potter, potters that, that is very dumb. But you can see this is a jetware. And it's shining, I believe. And uh, also, our Koban inscriptions is in, Van, uh, is in Henan. And those are for auguries and discovered in uh, Anyang. And we are famous about our bronze ware. And you can see those are two beautiful bronze wares. 
And if you go to Henan Museum, you can see all of those beautiful things. In, in Luoyang, there is a famous Longmen Gao Tree, it's a, a Tang Dynasty, about AD 493. And some people, oh, some people said the face of the biggest Buddha is the only female <coughs> emperor of China, which named Wu Zetian, because Wu Zetian donated a lot of money to build this Buddha. Also, Henan is the capital of Song Dynasty in China, so Longqing is the palace of Song Dynasty in Kaifeng. In Tai Chi, maybe everyone knows, the original uh, Tai Chi is start from Henan province. And uh, I played a little. Shaolin Si. This is the most famous part. It's about Chinese Kung Fu, and uh, we can see Many celebrities have the have a picture with Shaolin Si's chairman, Shi Yongxin. And where is Shaolin Si? Shaolin Si is in Songshan Mountain, and we can see this mountain is very beautiful, just like a Chinese fairy tale. In such beautiful mountains, we have famous temples. And this is Zhengzhou City, my hometown. And we can. I just think this picture makes Zhengzhou look a little bit like New York City. This is Central Park. <laughs> 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 and about Henan now, we're top three in the cotton, all you see through tobacco production of China, and we're proud because we feed 7.5% of the population of China by 1.74% of the land of China because our people is hardworking. <laughs> and we have complete industrial system. And can you guess what are those people doing? This is maybe 50 years ago. And this. They are now playing because this is Linzhou City in Henan. And since 50 years ago, drinking water of 567,000 population and 370,000 cattle is a big problem because they don't have any river. All they can get water is from the rain. So there is an old saying in Linzhou that a person can only have can only wash her or her or his face three times. The first time is he was born. The second time is he's married. And the third time is his death. Oh. <laughs> and Linzhou people just, just take advantage and uh, they use very simple tools because they decide to have a trench to bleed water to this area, to their hometown. And finally, help me to have this, because we have a small program, uh, program of our team. Yeah. It sends a postcard to those kids. And we, we have to write the address on that handout, and there is Chinese version. And maybe if you can just cut the box and uh, adhere it on the envelope and mail it to China, uh, just to the address I mentioned in the handout, and that is the chairman of our team. And we, when we go to those remote countries, we can bring you postcards to those kids, because I believe postcards overseas is, will encourage them to continue their study. And BTW, uh, the postage of a postcard, I believe, is 99 cents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. And, uh, you know, first of all, we